Hey Jay, uh, just a quick update. Um, after you left, I kind of got ready for bed, and it just kept bothering me that, you know, we almost had this thing working. And uh, well, two things kept bothering me. It should not be that hard to fix this thing. I mean, it's such a simple game. And like I said in general, I don't think I've ever had a game that's given me this much trouble. So there must be something fundamental that we're missing. And the other thing that was bothering me was that. You know, we almost had it working. I mean, it was working. It was going through the motions. The graphics were a little bit messed up, whatever. But that, to me, means that the Fluke was working all address ranges and whatnot. So something just wasn't sitting right. So I went back to schematics, and I'm looking all over it again, trying to figure out what was causing, you know, that, that address bit to be not drivable, whatever. And it dawned on me, what if, I mean, these are, you know, these are recipients of the address, and then they in turn send them out. But what if for some reason they are back feeding or sending some bogus signal back that was corrupting the address bus? So I pulled the 6502 out and then I sampled that pin and sure enough it was being yanked high. So I looked at over the schematic again and realized, well, why don't I just socket both of these guys? Actually, this one was already socketed. Pull them out and then that way that net between you know the CPU and this IC should be floating, completely floating. And so I did that. I socketed this guy. I think this is the other one here. Pulled them both out, and it was still high. So there's something on the line that's uh, yanking it to 5 volts. I put my multimeter on it. Sure enough, it was 5 volts. And then I looked again closer to stuff that we had done last night. And this chip right here, you can see the traces. The two traces that were high, I think, were pin 3 and 6. And they flow down under this uh, IC and then under this IC. These were both plugged in at the time. I yanked that one out. Uh, and tested it again, it was still high. Then I unplugged this chip and then it went low. And so that told me that there's probably an output bit on this chip that was just barely touching one of the traces. And again, I hate these Atari boards because the traces are not solder masked and they're so freaking close. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but sure enough, I pulled him out and then the whole thing went away. And so it must have just been just a hair. It's funny too because I was ohming it out and I didn't see anything. It was all in the mega ohms, so I don't know, you know, how that's even possible. We can get mega ohm readings and have it still be a short, but that's exactly what happened. So I'm gonna try to replace this socket here with another one that I have, and again try to do a decent job where that they're not shorting out, and then hopefully we'll make some progress. I think, I mean, that would suck if that's all it was. Although we did find other issues, but anyway, let me pull that guy out. Well, I think that's what it was, man. I can now actually read from zero, 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 zero. And that's fine. And I can read from 2000, which was the real problematic one. That's fine. But more importantly, I think we are in good shape. I don't see the flippers at the top anymore. And I don't see this other weirdness going on down here. And so, yeah, I think we are... In good shape. Actually, I'm going to just set up the tripod real quick and coin it up and hit start and make sure the inputs are working with the buttons and everything. I won't be able to test the sound, but if I can get the I.O. working, then I feel pretty confident that this is in good shape. So hold on one second. All right, hopefully you can see that. Um, so let me see if I can play with some inputs. Uh, if I want to coin this up, then I would pulse that guy. So you can see the coin is pulsing up here and push to start. And then to start a game... Uh, looks like pin 2. So pin 2, there we go. And now let's see if we can play with some flippers. Flippers are 17 and 15, so 20, 19, 18, 17. You can see the flipper there. And then 15. And that flipper's toggling. Awesome. So I think that is it, my friend. Sorry you couldn't be here to uh, to witness the resurrection, but... I don't know if we were tired or what, man. I was just like I had an epiphany when I woke up. Like, oh, what if something else is driving it? Or what if there's some short on there or something else? But anyway, um, so yeah, I'll get in touch with you. We'll figure out how we can get this guy back to you, and you should be all set. All right, buddy. Cool. We'll see you, man. Bye.